Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Josh Durham with Matte Paint. Uh, and today I'm gonna to show you a short tutorial, a lot shorter than my usual ones, on how to create custom shapes in Photoshop. Custom shapes can be done uh, similar to graphic design kind of custom shapes, where it's, you know, it's just uh, something like this. Whoops. Here we go. These, right? can be turned into a custom shape if you're doing some crazy, I don't know, illustration of like an advertisement, graphic design kind of work, stuff like that. But for concept art, which is what I am, concept artist, uh, I usually use a photo reference to make custom shapes because it just speeds up sketching. You know, anything that can make your life a millisecond easier, go ahead and invest time in figuring out how to do that. So first off, first things first, Find a photo reference of a building, a composition, a shot, anything that you like. This one is actually from Matte Paint, so you can download this one. And I like this one because it's got this cool dynamic shadow, right? With the light having the focal point. I'm waving my hands around, you can't see it. <laughs> the focal point is up here, okay? And then down here is this cool shadow, and then we got a bunch of random people's heads that I'm not a huge fan of. So I might actually just kind of delete them out of there. There we go. Cool, so first things first, cut out everything you don't want, usually the sky. The sky is not great for this. Tolerance is too high. Let's fix that, there we go. You wanna, I'm just, you know, magic wand tool, lasso tool, computer hacking tool. Uh, whatever, you know, whatever tool you want to use, man, just just use it to crop out or not crop. It'd be more of a cut to cut out the crap of the image, you know, the image you don't want or the part of the image you don't want. So almost got most of it out here. Magic wand tool It's being a little finicky. We're just going to get majority out of it and then lasso tool the rest to kind of refine it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry about that part. You just want the main selection, you know? You don't want to, you obviously don't want to waste time on it because the whole point of this is to help you speed up time in the future. So why would you waste time? And then we'll just kind of crappily get that out of here. Grab some of that, double check. Everything seems to be good. Yeah, okay, so just delete all that. Okay. So now we have this very crappily cut out. Is crappily a word? I don't think it is, is it? Anyways, very crappy cut out of uh, you know, our buildings here. But you can see there's a blue outline, okay? You can go in and clean it up. You can do a layer. Guess you can't do it. I'm a liar. You can't. <laughs> there it is, yeah. Layer, matting, defringe. That, that'll knock out some of that blue on the edges here. You can tell here mostly. You can see that it cuts it out a bit, which is nice, but in reality, it doesn't actually matter because this whole thing's gonna be black and white anyway. So a blue line going around is not gonna affect anything. So now that you have this kind of cut out here, you wanna make sure. 